going to show you how to make some really yummy double chocolate truffles and they're super simple to make. So first of all you want to get some boiling water in a pan to so make sure the water is nice and hot, like literally boiling. Then we're going to put a mixing bowl on top of that and we're going to put in some chocolate into the bowl and we're going to melt this. So I've got I used white chocolate here, you can use any chocolate that you fancy. So just stir it around until it's all mixed up. I've used about 100 grams of this, but it depends how many truffles you're going to make. So how much you actually want. Okay, so this is what it will look like after you've melted. Obviously, nice, yummy melted chocolate. So what you want to do, that only takes a couple of minutes to get to this stage. Water. And you're going to need some uh, moulds now. Or you'd like to use silicone moulds because it pops the chocolates out nice and easily, but you can use plastic ones if you like. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill each mould up about a third of the way. So just put chocolate in each one of the moulds. So once they're all filled, you're going to take a small spoon or like the end of a spoon, something that's quite small, and you just spread that chocolate out up the sides of the moulds. So this will create the case that you're actually going to put your truffle mixture inside. So just careful do doing that, don't leave any holes, you want all the sides covered. So it looks like this, once it's got to this point, you take it and you put it in the fridge and till it's hardened. Okay so now we have to make the truffle mixture so again you need some more boiling water in a pan so we're going to stick the bowl on top of the water again and we're going to add 75 milliliters of double cream to the bowl. I've doubled the mixture here because I was making quite a bit and then we're going to add 200 grams of dark chocolate to this and we're just going to stir it around until it's nicely combined and all melted together. Again you don't have to use dark chocolate, I just like the um, taste of it because you're obviously mixing it with cream and it's got white chocolate with it as well. It doesn't come out quite as harsh as dark chocolate so it is it's a nice taste. So this one might take a while, you can actually put this on a hob on a really low heat to speed it up a bit but you don't want the chocolate to burn. And this is what it looks like once it's all mixed. It's so tempting just to put the spatula straight in your mouth, but don't do that. <laughs> you can do that afterwards. Okay, so now we're going to move the mixture into a piping bag. So a little trick I do is I get a pint glass and I pop the piping bag into the pint glass, fold the edges over so it's all nice and open, and then I can just pour the mixture in. You don't need to use a piping bag, you can just spoon the mixture into each of the chocolate cases you've made, but I find this way a lot easier and less messy. See how nice that looks. Okay, so next thing is to take the piping bag out, remove the glass, just twist it around a bit so you've got a nice firm hold on it and we're just going to snip off the end using a pair of scissors. Don't squeeze the bag at this point because otherwise it just comes squirting out at the other end. Okay, now we're going to fill up the little cases that we've done. Don't fill it up the whole way up to the top because we're going to have to put another layer of chocolate on the top to seal it in. 
So just fill up most of the way. And you don't have to case these in chocolate if you've got those really small um, cupcake cases, you know, the really tiny ones. You can actually just put the truffle mixture, this mixture that I've just made, straight into one of those and make little truffle cups. Which I've done with the leftover mixture of this, which I didn't actually film and I should have, sorry. Okay, so once you've filled all the cases, just pop this back into the fridge again until the chocolate is hardened. It won't go rock hard because this is a truffle, but until it's stiff enough, just pop them back in the fridge. Once you pop them out of the fridge, once the chocolate, sorry, tongue tied there, once the chocolate was hardened, you just melt more chocolate and fill in the moulds to the top. So just melt the chocolate how you did the first way and fill in all the sections. And that will be your truffles basically done. They make a great gift as well if you like homemade chocolates. So you make them for your family at Christmas times or and at birthdays or wherever. Ever. And you can get some really funky moulds out there as well to make different shapes and things for all occasions. So once you've popped them in the fridge and wait until they go hard again, this is what you're left with. If you use a silicone one like I am, you just pull it apart just to loosen the chocolates and pop them out. So be a bit harder if you're using plastic ones but silicone ones are really easy even though that one landed on the floor <laughs> and you're done and I don't know what your taste buds are like but I found these really nice you have to use a good quality chocolate though I do stress that nice quality chocolate will do and this is what they look like so yummy and I couldn't break one open so I just bit into one just to show you what it's like on the inside and there it is so you can bag these up into special little candy bags and give them out or you can keep them all to yourself have fun making your own, hope you like them if you do, leave a comment down below thank you, bye